Hey guys, my name is Vlad. I haven't been around for a long time, but I'm still with you. And today I'm preparing something really special. In today's video, we're going to talk about my top 10 Google Sheet features that can help improve your productivity, speed up everything and make your work more efficient. If you are interested, then let's get started. First thing is autofill. Suppose you need to write number from 1 to 100. You don't have to do it manually. Just select few numbers and then pull this blue dot to down and Google will fill it for you. You can do it not only with numbers but any other series. For example, look at the day of the week. And this is month of the year. As you can see, autofill worked pretty well and it saved a lot of your time. All that analysts will load this next feature. This feature for trim white spaces and duplicates. Suppose you have data set that you need to clean. Uh, for example, as you can see, I add white spaces. Right now we can select the range and then choose data, data cleanup, trim white spaces. As you can see, we remove white spaces and right now cells look really nice. Uh, next one, let's try to remove duplicates. We select the column which we will look at for duplicates and then select OK. As you can see, only seven rows left, all the unique values here. The third feature I use almost all the time when I create Google Sheets is alternating colors. It's helped to improve our readability. As you can see, even an odd rows are different colors, so it's easier to read. The fourth feature is really useful if you want to embed your sheet in any of web page. As you can see, you can embed a entire document or specific sheet. So this is your code. You can copy this code to any of your HTML page. For example, I have here index.html file. Uh, right now I will modify it. I'll show you example. As you can see, this is the code that Google gave it to me. So I save it. And then as you can see, there is a sheet with all the data. Sometimes we won't restrict the cell for specific value. For example, if we want to restrict the cell only for dates, we can do that. All what we need to do, select date and then data validation rules select is valid date and then reject the input and then click done. As you can see right now we have data picker. We can select the date. It's really convenient. If we want to write any other value, it will show the error. Suppose we need to copy the table from web page for so don't do it manually. Google sheet has really good function. It's called import HTML. It can help us import any table, any data from the table from specific web page. All what we need to do, write this formula, provide URL, then select table, and then uh, pick the number of the table. For us, it's one. Then we need allow access. And voila, all the data from Wikipedia is here. Really fast, really convenient. You don't have to do it manually. Sometimes we want to extract from our data set all unique values from specific range. For that, we have special function. It's called unique. Uh, we write unique, then select the range. And voila, this is our unique values. If you want to open Google Sheet fast, open Chrome, then in address bar, write sheets.new, and that's it. Sometimes we want to share the data, but we don't want to give access to our Google Sheet. For this, we can use function. It's called import range. With this function, you basically can import any data from any Google Sheets to a new one. 
and it will be always up to date. You can share entire page or you can share a specific range. All what we need to do, specify the URL of the sheet that you want to share, then specify the range and that's it. You cannot modify this data, but you can create visualization, you can filter it and do other things. Did you know that Google Sheet has special function to translate text inside the cell? All what you need to do, write Google Translate, then specify the cell, then choose the language from which you want to translate, and then choose the language to which you want to translate. Voila, this is your translation. As you can see, it's translated pretty fast. This is text in Thai language. Let's try to change it. For example, uh, let's do maybe French. As you can see, translation is done. A very useful function. This is my bonus tips for you. As you know, data analysts sometimes need to know the stats and this function column stats can help us to get basic information about the column. It's really useful and I recommend it to use it because uh, it allows you to know almost everything about your column without applying any other functions. And the last one, image in cell. You know that you can add specific image inside the cell, not on the top of the cell, but inside. Let me show you how to do that. So let's find some image. For example, red frog. Okay. Uh, insert. As you can see right now, image on the top of the cells. Then we select this image, then click three dots, and then put image in selected row. As you can see right now, image inside the cell, and we also can call this cell number, and it will be equal to this image. It could be really useful for some use cases. That's why I want you to know about it. That's it. I hope you'll find this video informative and useful. If yes, please click like. If no, please click like, but don't forget to share your feedback and comments below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for your support. I hope to see you in my next videos. And please, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, please subscribe because there will be a lot of useful content that can help you with many different things. Thank you. Bye.